Well, this afternoon, we're learning new details about the operation that killed one of the world's most wanted terrorists. He was killed in a U.S. drone strike in Afghanistan on Sunday morning. NBC's Chris Pallone has more from Capitol Hill. Newly released video shows smoke rising above a Kabul neighborhood around the time a missile strike killed the leader of Al Qaeda. A senior administration official says a CIA drone fired two missiles at Ayman al Zawari as he stood on a balcony Sunday morning. The measure of accountability, not just uh, for Mr. Zawahiri and Al Qaeda, uh, but for anybody else that would think uh, next time about, about harboring terrorists that could threaten the homeland. The administration touts the weekend strike as proof the president's chaotic withdrawal of troops from Afghanistan was the right move. He said we would be able to continue to target and take out terrorists in Afghanistan without troops on the ground. He delivered on that promise. The White House released this picture of an early July briefing where President Biden was shown a model of the safe house where Osama bin Laden's successor was living with his family. In announcing al Zawahiri's killing, the president made a promise. That no matter how long it takes, no matter where you hide, if you are a threat to our people, the United States will find you and take you out. Now focuses on Afghanistan's Taliban government and questions of whether it knew al Zawahiri's location and intentions. The question is whether or not he was there as a way to reconstitute al-Qaeda's presence in Afghanistan and use it as a springboard to carry out terrorist operations. Some of the nation's top allies like Canada and Australia are praising the U.S. for killing one of the world's most notorious terrorists. Chris and in a statement, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell says the world is a better, safer place without the al-Qaeda al leader, but warned Afghanistan is becoming a haven for terrorist activity after last summer's military withdrawal from the community country.